You couldn't find any evidence? No evidence, but something else. Witnesses willing to testify at length about B613. Okay, witnesses who? No, absolutely not. Hawk and I were B613 agents. We worked our way up from the paper desk. We know everything. Methodologies, dates, details. Details I can corroborate. I've been close enough. I've seen enough. I told you this is my decision. I'll protect you from the consequences. We know. That's exactly why we're by your side. By my side. Do you know where I'm heading? Over a cliff. He's right, a cliff. By your side. Over a cliff. You still have a choice here. I can keep your name out of this. Deny you had any knowledge of D613. Or you can tell the truth. Or I can tell the truth. It's up to you. Everything in me is saying that letting B613 come out to be known to the world is the biggest mistake I will ever make. The problem is I've already made the biggest mistake I'll ever make. Not listening to you. If we do this, it may very well be the last thing we ever do together. Shh. Maybe they'll give us side by side prison cells. <laughs> Maybe. Lovers. As you know, I have been one of the Grant family's most vociferous critics. Not today. Today, I leap to Melly Grant's aid with the alacrity of an angel. Not in the name of partisanship, but in the name of liberty. Thanks to the courage of some very brave individuals, it has come to my attention that for the last 30 odd years, our country has been led not by our president, but by a top secret spy organization operating within our government. On our government's dime. No, no, In no, our no, government's name. No. These are the traitors who try to bring down Air Force Two. These are the traitors who seek to frame Melly Grant for that crime. These are the traitors, Mr. Lonnie Menken, who should be dragged out of the darkness and into the light so they can finally be held accountable. It will not be easy. The enemy is formidable, but it is necessary, for this is the fight of our time. Stand with me, lovers. Demand justice. Take action. God bless you, lovers, and God bless America, or at least what's left of it. Here we go.